Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about skills. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, as a software engineer, did you ever have a college junior that you uh, that was younger than you but was better in terms of skills? I would I would ask it depends on the skills. In terms of like raw co coding and understanding how to use the tools of the trade, no. In terms of other things like mathematics, yes, many, many, many. And in terms of they knowing something about the IT industry that I have no clue whatsoever about in a fraction of the time that I have, I, I have spent in the industry, yes, many times. Uh, I think that the most telling thing is I have a coworker who went, he started a few years ago and he came straight out of college like directly out of college and he it was this is like he, he it's, this is his first job and so when we both started working together I was you know I was still I would do I was doing the application development thing uh, did full stack work, all that sort of stuff, right? And he got into the same sort of rhythm, right? So, of course, we do a bit of coaching, a bit of front end, a little bit of back end, and so forth. And he's picking things up, right? He's still my junior, by like by most people's account, right? And after a little while, there is a position opening up for something which uh, I uh, that I'm very interested in, which is DevOps related work, and he gets put in the team where they have the experienced DevOps engineers and so he stays there for a f I think he's been there for a few years now and now he is by far and wide much more skilled in everything that related to operations and infrastructure and everything like that than I am even if I understand the tooling and so forth, because we are using Kubernetes and Docker and all this good stuff and cloud solutions, I mean, I have a basic understanding of it because I use it on a daily basis. But he, his understanding of these concepts is much, much higher than mine because he's actually this is his, this is his full time job. This is something that I do on a need, like on a need type of basis when I need to spin up new environments or deal with bugs and logs and like all of this stuff but it's still at a basic level so he's out skill he's his skills is like his skills are a lot higher than mine and this is what's going to be fun because uh, i mean the uh, my ambition is to move into that team at some point when i feel that it's the right time to make that switch guess who's going to train me so now we're going to switch the roles so when he first started it was my job to help him get up to speed with the stuff that I was really good at and now we switch and now it's his time his turn to help me to get up to speed with the things that I'm not so good at and see that's the thing like there is no way that a college developer is going to out skill someone in the thing that they have been doing for the longest time because you simply don't have the you haven't been doing the sort of work that this person has been doing assuming of course that this person has like a normal work situation and so forth you don't have the same experience but it, that doesn't mean that just because you have spent more time in the industry that you magically just know everything nobody knows everything and you can beat practically anybody at any game if you just change the rules if you change the thing that we're measuring on at my last job I was uh, oh, I, at the previous job at the very least I was the junior front-end developer I had literally spent and I started a few weeks with react maybe something like that it's and I started like taking it fairly seriously a, a little a little while into my employment there nobody at that company had the first clue how to work with react so I was the re senior react expertise god help us all yeah I know right but that's that was me I, I became like I went from oh we kind of need a junior to come in here and do some stuff to you basically own everything front and related and you are now the official the, the resident expert great that sort of like and so no I, and I was working with people who've been in the game for I mean 10 20 and I think in one case tw 30 years 
and I was the person who knew the most about React because they simply hadn't been doing it. So what I want you to take away from this is that there is absolutely a chance that you will have a new hire or some person who comes in from a previous job who has a very junior profile maybe in life experience and also in work experience that doesn't mean that that person doesn't know something that you may not know as well because we're all different we all learn different things and since everybody has to make a cutoff somewhere we can't know at all some people will focus on some stuff and some people will focus on other stuff and I think that the greatest mistake that you can make and that is a pure ego thing is to believe that just because you know something better than a lot of other people that you know it all because that locks you out of being open to understanding things that you may not be so good at and that is tough there's not that many people who wants to be humble enough to realize that you actually don't know everything because it feels kind of good when you can convince yourself of that but if you can kill that part of yourself and actually just be open to understanding that some stuff you're really good at and some stuff you need to learn uh, and get better at you will actually find that there's quite a lot of people around you who you can go for it to advice and if you can really really go far with your personal security you will find that even someone who you who you are vastly more skilled than in a specific area well they might actually know something that you're not so skilled at and that's going to make it so much easier when the roles switch and i promise you you may be surprised that all of a sudden that junior that you, you kind of trained a little while back they actually know some stuff that is really important for you to know and it's going to be a lot easier for you to go and talk to them if you didn't act like a douchebag to start off with have a great day